Yesterday I visited Perry to sell some goods, and he told me about Reuben. Yes. Reuben was one of the two downwinder leaders from whom I was to steal Lord Randall's sapphire vase. Perry said that another shopkeeper, Ramion, had told him that Reuben had planned to visit Perry. When asked, Ramion would not disclose the purpose of the visit. Perry later learned that Reuben had nearly been caught by a Hammerite patrol near Perry's shop just two days ago. Perry believes that Reuben must have some big problems and might be hiding in the old cemetery near the abandoned mansion. Perry has asked for my help in finding Reuben and asking him why he wanted to see Perry. Hello, and welcome back to Thief 3. This time, we're going into a crypt. Don't know if you could tell. But yeah, um... I'm sure there's no undead in here. And we should be fine. Abe Joan, your knowledge helped not only us, but the next generation as well. Of course, there's gotta be graves to begin with. Josh Dumpler, chef. Your dishes were an... Epicrean's Delight. Sure. Housemaid Marini Mar Marianne. Wow. You died much too soon. And you have a ring. How sweet. Lady Caroline, you do not deserve to be buried next to your husband. Oh, yes. Definitely seems like the uh, English might be a little broken on this one as well. Griffo, we loved you. You jolly jester. William Gates, you've broken too many windows. Wow. Joseph B Breeze, five-time Burek Racing... Or Burek? Wow. <laughs> Burek Racing Champion. I haven't been able to say Burek in such a long time. Sid Shine. Or uh, S Sid? Shine on, you crazy diamond. He only had one, one part of his name, as opposed to everybody else. Well, the gargoyle fell. That can be... Just went all the way to the top there, bud. That can only be good. Only true hero can open this door. Only true hero. Only true... Oh, my God. Uh... Mm, indeed. Did I miss anything? I am stuck. Jesus Christ. Put on a lot of weight. Hmm. Only true hero. Hmm. Just go through the gate. Wow, I'm stuck at the entryway. Can I climb on your head? Thank you. I may be a little stuck now. How dare I try different things? There we go. Huh. Only true hero can open this door. Do I need a dagger? Yeah. Hit the blackjack? Hmm. Wait a minute. There we go. What's my gear anyway? I have a. Is that a water arrow? Oh god, that's not good. Our goals are to get into the crypt and speak to Reuben, discover why Reuben wanted to visit Perry, and find out a, loot, a special loot item and a certain amount of money and get the fuck out. Yeah, seems good to me. That looks fancy. Can I climb the tree? Of course not. Too easy. Uh, I have three water arrows. Okay. I doubt this will make a difference, but you never know. I can't even frob it. That's the problem. And now it's really dark. 
Just a second. Oh, what is this? Ah, yeah, I guess that makes sure that makes sense cuz the knight is a bad hero. Bad feeling about this. Yeah, I really do as well. The knight is always the hero, right? Yeah, it always makes sense. Not, not the person that's knowledge helped two generations worth of people. No, 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 it's the knight. Yeah, mm -hmm. All right, what do we got here? I guess I'll read instead of pick that up. Ooh, poem by Edgar. Yep, no poems. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I'm good. Especially after what I've read from the intro so far. It's going to be kind of hard to read or understand. Hi. Mind if I save him here, do you? Here? Yeah, he looks very stiff. So now we know I never met up with him. Ruben's Diary, Tuesday 13.1x, or IX. Why would it be 13 and then a Roman numeral 9? I don't... Okay. The Downwinders are definitely being hunted down by the Hammerites. They are finishing what Truer began, at least for now, my last friends and I have escaped their patrols. But we must stay here and hide. We're very tired and hungry. Unfortunately, Darren is injured and I'm worried about him. I hope that I can leave soon and sell the precious artifact I've been carrying. I'm just afraid the Hammerites might catch me. I just can't risk it. It might be the best... It might be best to hide the artifact until I can sell it. Once I sell it, I plan to build a new organization on the same basis as the that of the Downwinders. The new organization will be stronger and mightier. I'm certain of it. Thursday. We explored the crypt a little bit this morning, and behind one of the tombs, Nigel found a hidden switch that opened a door leading to the lower level of the crypt. Something is definitely wrong down there. There are strange torches that my water arrow could not extinguish. And how have they managed to remain burning for so long? Magic, of course, my good boy. Also, there's that nobleman. I had heard that he had been buried about a hundred years ago, and yet he certainly looked alive. It's all very strange. At least I found a good place to hide my artifact. Friday. While searching the tombs, we found a few items that might be of some value. We also found a nice old book. I think it's worthless, but Nigel and Simon disagree. Later, Nigel came and told me that Darren had died. I'm very sad. Darren was a good friend. We'll bury him in one of the tombs. Saturday. It's been five days. We can't stand it in here any longer. We're so hungry. I must go to the city and buy us some food. I'll try to visit Raymond and sell him some of the goods we found. Uh, maybe I'll also try to sell him my artifact. I just hope that Nigel and Simon will stay put and out of trouble. Monday. I sold some goods to Raymond and bought a little... food. <laughs> I also tried to arrange to sell him my treasure. That scoundrel Raymond would only agree to pay me 500 gold for it. Crook. I'd rather die of hungry of hungry than sell to him. Old Frankus Old Farkas had told me that it was worth at least five thousand. Farkas was a connoisseur of fine items like this and certainly knows a valuable antiquity when he sees it. We're hungry. We're in trouble, but five hundred is just too little. I need more money for rebuilding the new downwinders. It might be dangerous, but next I'm going to try to find Perry in the city. Maybe he can help. Strangely, while I was out, I had the feeling that someone was following me. Tuesday. It is very, very strange. Nigel and Simon are acting so differently. They don't respond when I talk to them. They don't answer me, and their eyes, I've never seen such eyes, so strange, so scary. And the torches now look the same as the ones in the lower crypt. Friday. This morning, when I went to retrieve my artifact, Nigel and Simon became furious. They tried to attack me, but I escaped upstairs. I must go to Perry today. What was I thinking? Why did I try to go into the city? I had nearly gotten to Perry's shop when a hammerite saw me. 
He yelled, and then he and two other Hammerites chased after me. I hope I've lost them. I must retrieve my artifact and escape from here as quickly as possible. If they find me, they will kill me. I'm afraid, but must go for it. It's bad. It's strange. and crazy. There's no chance for me to get to my artifact. I don't know if I can trust Simon and Nigel anymore. Also, I must be losing my mind. I saw Darren walking around. It's just not possible. He's dead. I hear some sounds on the door. So on the other side of the door. Oh no. Someone's trying to open the door. If they are the Hammerites. Yes, they are. I think this is the end. Ah, the dead. I thought it changed for a second there. The dead have risen. Hopefully you haven't. So, just wanted to sell the artifact? Is that all you wanted? Here, have some candles. Hello? I heard something. Oh, this is not good. No, it is not. Well, it was the hammers, and at least one of the hammers is dead. Crap. So, no put not fires! Even if I do start the water. What? What? I hate picking up something that I can't put down. There's definitely no knocking people out either. That really sucks. Yeah, uh, the writing seems to be fine. It was just that the intro was a little finagly. And after the last last fan mission that I uh, that I played, it was just so broken. It's just, whew, boy, kill me, my friends. The pain is too much. I can't stand to suffer so. I don't want to go on living like this. The hammers are sure to discover us, and then they will kill us all. Kill me now, my friends, please. Darren. Take the coward's way out, huh? So what you're saying is your friends are going to have to deal with the hammers while you take the easy way out? Kind of messed up, if you ask me. <laughs> You heard nothing. Reuben is crazy. When we discovered the fine book, he didn't share our excitement. This book must be extremely valuable. Simon and I are sure of it. Darian is suffering terribly and wants to die. Darian is dear friend, and I do not have the fortitude to kill him. Darian is dead. Reuben went to see Ramin today. While he was gone, Simon and I explored the lower crypt again. There we discovered an ancient parchment inscribed with strange magical runes. I was afraid, but Simon laughed and recited the symbols. Nothing seemed to happen. An interesting thing, though. I thought that I heard some strange noises coming from the lower crypt. Simon is not interested, but I must go back and find what those noises could be. I must go. Now. And how did that go for you? Not good, gotcha. <laughs> Settle down there, dear boy. Oh, how am I gonna pick that lock? Because I can't put out the torches. Not there, go away. Killing them is not going to be easy. Just sit down again without tapping. No matter what I do. It 
it's dark in here. What? What are you gonna do about it, huh? Just a big complainer, that's what you are. Big whiner. Right? Fucking light! Oh, are you kidding me? Very strange things have happened in the last few days. The lady's dead. Torquild has disappeared, and today, when I came to the old mortuary, I found the lord with a dagger in his heart. Michael lay dead beside him, and then it happened. I had finished entombing the Lord in the sepulchre, and then, when I started to entomb Michael, he suddenly stood up and looked at me so strange. I escaped as quickly as I could and blocked the gate. Unfortunately, I had lost the key to talk its possessions. Oh well. What of it? I'm just lucky I'm still alive. Now that I think about it, I think the Lord must have been doing some sort of living dead experiments. I sometimes snooped on him for my secret hiding place in the mortuary. Nobody else knows the way there from here. If you're reading this, please do not go in the mortuary. Lucas. Lucas, if you could have told me that earlier, it would have been a lot easier for me. So, I need a key, obviously. Can I get up there? Making too much of a racket. <laughs> Are you? The answer is no, cause reasons. Oh my god! Oops. I was gonna try to climb the, the brickwork, but I couldn't. There we go. The dead don't need this. Nice! We're already 50%. Wait, what? Wait. What? <laughs> you heard nothing. Shut up. Is that the special one, or...? Yeah, there's my special loot. The crypt has become overrun with the undeads. Oh, I'm sorry. With undeads! Find out who or what are causing the uprising! Okay. <sighs> there. doesn't understand quietly. I don't trust Reuben. Yesterday I went upstairs and he quickly hid something on the top shelf with his stuff. But why? I never stole anything from him. Never. I just don't trust him anymore. He still goes on about the downwinders, but I think we'll die down here. And where does he think he'll get the money? When Darren died, he even wanted to take his medallion from him but I wouldn't allow it, and so Darren was buried with his medallion still on his chest. Poor Darren was suffering. But just before he died, I, he tried to tell me something. I couldn't understand him, but I think he said something about a crate. He acted like it was very important. Hmm. I think he was just insane from the pain. Nigel is nervous. He's afraid of everything. Today we found scroll found scroll inscribed with runes. Wow. But when I read it out loud, he started to act crazy. Fool. I better get some sleep. Maybe Reuben will think of something and we can get out of this horrible place. Yeah, he probably left. Should have left earlier rather than later. I say Barry, but wouldn't it rather be 
Wouldn't it be entombed? Isn't burying somebody technically the act of putting them in the earth? Oh, dear God. I Somehow I didn't make noise there. Or maybe I did. You heard nothing. Can you back up a little bit? This is Midgen, thank you. Just settle down there, bud. Something terrible has happened. I can't believe that I'm still alive. Simon must have activated something when he read that old parchment. I now know what those noises were, and it's terrible. It's a dead nobleman come back to life. When I went to explore the lower crypt, he attacked me and wounded me badly. I barely escaped. I must break the switch and lock the portcullis. It's strange. I look at my wounds, and I know now I should be dead. I feel strong, though, and hungry. Horribly hungry. A hunger for human flesh. I want to resist this terrible urge, but I see Simon sleeping there. I don't think I can resist. No, I must not kill Simon. But Darian is already dead. Yes, I will kill him. Wait, what? My god, I must be mad. Darian is already dead. I can kill him. What? Damn, there has to be another way in. I must kill the dead. Do you mind kind of trying to walk through here? Are these worth anything? Go find it. Go find it. That one's sparkly. Give me. No, oh, candlesticks are over there. Go look over there. Seriously, dude, come on. There. Fixed it. Don't fall in with the skeleton, dummy. Something about a crate. I don't know if I can go through this door or not. I have a dead person staring at me, and if I go the close there, he's gonna wake up. I think he saw me. Ow! Ow! Locked. If I kill them out of the way, I should be fine. I have a chance to look around. Huh. He didn't here. Normally, don't they make like a huge racket when they die? Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> okay, uh... Well, I can, I can probably switch through there, but that's not what I'm trying to do. Ah, here's the crate. Hi, Sipun. Uh, this is what I'm looking for. Pause. 
Okay. Here we go. And now we must make our way down to the depths of this crypt. But we'll have to do it next time. Anyways. Hopefully. Ah, oh, crap. Hopefully you enjoyed my nonsense. If you did, a like, comment, subscribing, and hitting that bell icon would be greatly appreciated. This has been Boylag, signing off.